A little low. Well, good morning, guys. Beautiful day here at Gulch Hay Farms. Nice, brisk morning. We're going to do a little 60 degree cold start on this old International Cummins rig here we go here we go 61 degrees a little chilly almost needed a jacket this morning here we go here we go <laughs> got see. had to put a little oil in it this morning it uses a little or, uh, i don't know maybe it doesn't but uh part of it shades are running good got that straight pipe on there Today we're helping out a buddy haul some hay. Oh yeah, we're good. It's about a 60 mile run from here, I believe. We're going to Kennedy, Texas, and we're in Geronimo. So it's 60 miles south, and then we're taking him to his place, which is in Marion, which is about 20 miles uh, west of here. And uh, we're gonna call it good. Got a, I'm gonna try to make two loads today. That's all I can help out with this week. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do our best. I already got straps in the box. Got my gloves. Pressuring up. We'll drop the hood on this thing. Everything else looks good. We'll get on the road. We made it down to Old Kennedy. Jason's putting us to work. Big bales we're hauling today. They're saying each of these bales weigh about 1,100 pounds, 1,120 pounds. He said he's the guy he bought them from. Skilled them. Two of them. So they came out to like 1,120 average. So, which ain't bad. Just letting her rip, tighter chip. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we can get nine on the bottom. And then we'll get eight on top and that'll make 26 bales total. So it'll be running about 28,000, 29,000 pounds. So not too shabby, not too shabby, you know? Pretty exciting stuff. Well, we are rolling. I don't know if you can hear me or not. It's pretty loud in this cab. That's a straight line. Well, truck's doing pretty good. I'm rolling about 60, 65. Haven't done much downshifting at all, just kind of rolling. So I'm pretty pleased. It's running about 180 to 185 degrees. But overall, I like it. This is the heaviest I've pulled with it. I think we're right about 28,000. Plus the trailer's 11.5. Plus the truck full of fuel is 12.5. So 11.5. 12.5 is 24,000 plus 28,000 for like 52,000. So not bad. Not bad. It should handle it, but you know, this is about as heavy as I ever want to go with it. You know, it's just moving right along with it, so can't complain. Can't complain. I guess Jason's in a hurry because he just went straight to unloading. So uh, here we go.
we made it to the house. We were going to get two loads today, but we only got one due to me having a hole in the sidewall of a tire. Uh, so I just spent the last hour at the trailer store and I ended up putting uh, 12 new tires all the way around this thing. Uh, we've had real good luck with these Hercules tires. Uh, these are the 23580R16s, they're 14 plies, and uh, we just replaced them all. All of the uh, tires on this trailer were 10 plies, and uh, we've been wanting to get them replaced, and finally just bit the bullet and did so because, I mean, I showed up at Jason's and we had a flat tire. I always say, you know, it's probably because I didn't say no flat tires, but uh, only the OGs to this channel remember me saying that all the time. We used to haul a bunch of hay. But uh, yeah, it was this rear front tire. Um, again, the thorn just stuck the sidewall, and uh, you know, it didn't go. We didn't have a quote-unquote blowout or you know, shrapnel anywhere. The tire showed up fully intact, and it was just flat. So I let all the air out. Uh, there was one 14 ply on this trailer, uh, relatively new. You can tell because it still has the little teats on the tread, so they weren't used very long. So. Uh, we went 14 plies on everything here, except for that trailer there. So, uh, <clears throat> I think I'll probably end up buying a dually rim and mounting a spare for the hay trailer because it doesn't even have a spare. So, uh, we kept that one, and yeah. Yeah, I think what we're going to do now, since uh, I've got some spare time, is we're going to get this hitch here uh, mounted on this truck. Um, I haven't even showed you all that. I don't really know what the rule is when pulling goosenecks with the kingpin, but goosenecks come with these safety chains and the breakaway. And um, all y'all super truckers can yell at me for not running it right now, but we do have a hitch made up. I made one over there with a B&W flip over gooseneck ball with some D-rings, so we can mount uh, the chains to the frame of this thing. Um, so I just need to get that done. Uh, I've seen people run in multiple ways and nobody can really tell me the answer. Uh, so. I'm just going with my gut and saying that we're probably going to have to run those chains hooked up. So uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Get that hitch hooked up, hitch installed, and uh, yeah, pretty much it, you know, pretty much it. All right, so excuse the mess in here. It's a work in progress. Um, this is the hitch we made up. Uh, this is a and w hitch. This is the bottom side, obviously. But uh, you can buy this B&W kit for like 178 bucks. Comes with a 2 and 5 16 ball and this plate. And so we welded this onto some half inch bracket here. And then I cut a piece in half. Notice the sloppy ass, sloppy uh, cut on there. But it's just, it's fit and function. Function, not fit, whatever they say. But uh, my neighbor was uh, gracious enough to hand me, let me borrow one of his uh, mag drills. And so we're going to punch some holes. It's going to be these three holes. Well, one hole punch. The thing works pretty good. Gets, uh, gets on after it. But uh, the oil got rid of all the soapstone drawings that I had, so I'm actually just going to go measure and um, punch it down that away. But look at all these fines it pulled out here. Look at that. Crazy nonsense. All right, folks, all the hill drill, drill, blah, 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 blah. All right, folks, all of the holes are drilled. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mag drill came in clutch. Thank you, Jason, if you watch this. Super slick. That's the way to do drill holes right there. But fit perfectly up in there. No issues. So let's go get it mounted to the truck, see if we can't do something about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Okay, David. Feed the bolts through there. And, uh, but before I put the bolts through, I need to flip these D rings. The only thing I messed up was this fifth wheel hits right here where those D rings are. Oh. It should work all right. They're pretty close. I mean, they're not as close as I'd like them. Close enough, I guess. Yeah, they should feed through. We've got an eighth to play with. Or, yeah, you know, something like that. Sixteenth to play with. Eighth to play with. So. Let me go find those bolts and we'll run them through and crank her down and we'll be ready to go. Shoot some spray paint on it. But yeah, this is why I wanted it right here. Bada bang, bada boom, bada boom. Dunzos. Well, there she is, boys and girls. Six bolts cinched down. With the old cobalt, old trusty. Everybody running D Waltz and Milwaukee's. I'm over here running the old cobalt. <laughs> but anyway, got it done, got it done, got it done. It's going to be real nice, real functional. I kind of slapped it together, so excuse me for the raw look but got some pretty good welds in there still got it going on i burned this a little hot as far as a bunch of slag all around it but it'll hold this one not bad not bad but uh she should do the trick i don't see why not um obviously the reason we did this was to pull our normal gooseneck trailers like our 20 foot tractor hauler if we ever do need that um and then all and then our hay trailer um you know uh, the ultimately and i mean we still might do it but we don't we don't have to we got this big 50 the 50 footer is what has changed our decision on what i'm about to tell you when we first bought this truck i really wanted to put a flatbed on it and run uh, that bmw gooseneck hitch so you can run a two and five sixteenths ball and a three inch ball which we have well it's it's in there but uh you know like the trailer of this size uh this weight um needs a three inch ball and so uh you know you can run that b and w hitch uh either or i think the hitch is rated for forty thousand. obviously i don't know what my welding is rated for but it ought to hold um but obviously since we bought the 50 foot we kind of nixed the idea on the old flatbed we don't really need it it would look super awesome with a flatbed it'd be a little more functional you wouldn't always have to run it with a trailer not that i'd want to run this thing down the road without a trailer because it rattles your teeth out but uh i mean it's going to be pretty much 98 percent of the time well obviously if it doesn't have a bed it's going to be hooked to the trailer 100 percent of the time doing something but now we've got the 40 foot we got the 50 foot and we got the hay trailer and now we can pull them all you know so that was kind of the whole preface behind this and then we also needed a place to slap our uh, safety chains on too as well and so got our lights we're all kind of situated ready to rock and roll um well i'm in the video there um sorry we didn't get two loads today and it's so hard to talk to y'all while we're uh, running around in this truck but maybe i'll do a better job of that and maybe try to get some footage of the truck actually running it sounds great going down the highway um but anyway thanks again for watching we really do appreciate it don't forget to like comment subscribe share do whatever you have to do to get gold shade farms back out there we're starting to get a little more regular videos i've got a lot of things going on in the hay world um i know i keep telling you i'm gonna show you all some building stuff but you know it's just i forget when i'm there i'm in and out boom 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 so um but we got a lot of stuff coming up um uh, we made some hay uh, we're picking up some more land so we're gonna be doing some disking and tilling and things like that so there's only gonna be a lot of things going on um, we're pretty, uh, we're pretty stoked about it. We'll see you on the next one. Gold Shave Farms, love you, baby. We'll see you later.